bit more productive to think about identity work um, rather than identity and also identities in practice. So um, identity work, uh, we think is more productive because it's more active. And it also um, suggests that it is something that is fluid and can identities can be stabilized or destabilized um, through dynamic interactions with significant others in which we are performing the identity for. So um, the idea of identity, I think sometimes can be um, taken to mean to be very innate and stable. Um, that is sort of like an individual trait. Um, we don't take that perspective um, completely. We think a large part of identity and, and identity work is in negotiation with people um, in whatever space or figured world that we're in. So in thinking about identities in practice, um, the whole idea of practice, uh, I think is really key. Uh, and we've seen uh, the youth perform themselves differently uh, when the community of practice in which they are in to engage in STEM has been different. The case study. So there was this, uh, there's this girl, um, Amelia, in the sixth grade science, in the whole, in a standard of sixth grade in her school, which we can consider a figured world, she has the identity of being somebody who is aggressive and a bully. In a whole class, science classroom, figured world, her science teacher says that she is a bully. And she's a science student who, and he used the um, descriptor, she's on the edge. So she could fall off any moment as in she could flunk his science class. Whereas when she was in a small group with peers that she could work for, she was very different. Um, she came up with ideas, she came up with suggestions and she engaged you know, pretty significantly with the content. So, the, the rules of engagement or the power dynamics in these different figured worlds um, really directly affects how um, Amelia was performing herself. So that's what I, I mean by figured worlds. And I think our approach is similar to some of the, some, some scholars in the field, um, which is um, identities in practice. It is socially negotiated. It is not an innate trait. Um, and we are very hesitant, and I think this is connected to the question later on about the idea of measuring identity, uh, because it, in our work we've seen that it is very fluid and dynamic. I, okay, I think we can capture snapshots of what the manifestation of a particular identity looked like and the moment in which we are taking that snapshot. Uh, but I do think that there are a lot of caveats in what we can infer from that snapshot. So I think identity work is key in supporting students to engage in science learning productively. And I think, um, and, and you know, to, to quote uh, Gloria Letson Billings, uh, we have accumulated considerable education debt um, owed to youth of color and low income youth. And I think that that debt, a lot of it uh, um, is connected to not focusing on, you know, identity work, thinking about who the youth are, who they can be in science class, um, and who do they want to be?